Hello guys, Susanna here. Um, I am back for my Thursday um, haul. Um, I hit the jackpot today, I tell you. I, probably going to be a quite a long video. <laughs> um, but I got some awesome, awesome stuff. So um, a lot of stuff were... On Thursdays I get a cheaper deal anyway. But um, I, um, some of the, all the, the tags with... Um, Orange were fifty percent off, so that was even even better. And then, then they take off the twenty percent on which I get on Thursdays. So I got this book. I thought that was really cool. I love that. So I think it's got some good pictures in there. But I happened to find it had um, a nice old card in there. I don't know how old that is, but I don't always like handwritten cards got some it's got nice thick paper but the book itself is awesome I think it has got a couple of pictures I did see yeah, I'll leave it but I do love it awesome book really good one for a, a, a mail journal I uh, couldn't go past Beatrix Potter I think I've got a lot of some of her other ones I don't know if I've got Jemima though so um, beautiful beautiful pictures I love them so pretty Oh, oh, tends to go a little bit on the, on the, this side when I have white, I've turned that one off, sorry guys. I love that, I think that's beautiful, I love the fox, even though he's very naughty. So I'll put it back on, see if it's any good. If I don't have it up too high, I should be right. And this is falling apart, but it's awesome. So I did actually get a few books. Um, I'd say it's got to be 1953. Revised edition 61. Um, just the pictures are just so cute. And a little girl cooking, real like knitting, um, gardening. It's so cute. Look at that Valentine's Day party. So I haven't even had a good look myself yet. So... But they're just, the pictures are adorable. Look at them. Oh, so cute. It would be quite easy on painting box. So things to make, um, being creative, I think it's really quite a good little book. That is awesome. Script alphabet. Oh, yeah, you can do stitching. Very good. So, yeah, I was happy with that one. I don't think I'll be using it for the cover. Might probably make a good um, a scrap journal maybe change up the, the um that a bit and then snuggle pot and cuddle pie may gibbs couldn't resist that one the illustrations are so cute look at the little worms i love them anything to do with they're like the australian version of fairies so um just reminds me of when i was a little kid love it love it love it so that's, I think I've got one more book, but that's from, this is from the Salvation Army um, Hall. And then I hit the jackpot, Vinnie's. Oh, it's awesome. So these, so all of these were 50% um, off. So um, some napkins, these are really good for when you do. I'm going to make some um, fabric journals. So these are actually really good when you get placemats or napkins for um the base of the books the you know you can use them as the pages so they were a dollar because they were 50 cents off i mean 50 percent off so that was a dollar which is actually pretty good so i bought all the there was a few of other ones that so that was a dollar as well that's a dollar fifty so i don't know what this is if you can let me know what this is so that was 50 cents but i thought because uh, i make a lot of lace journals this would be a nice dangle no idea what this is maybe you can let me know and then another dollar fifty anything for a dollar or dollar fifty or you know anything like that is such a good price for doilies um they, get, they tend to get off expensive so that was a dollar fifty that's not bad for a good size like that a dollar so i bought them all out of all the orange ones because they were half price but this one i i 
paid three dollars because I just thought it was really nice they had a whole heap of blue ones so I might wait until it's blue week and then get the rest <laughs> so um yeah I just really liked it this one good size and then I walked out and then I looked in the window and I'm like I have got to get that this beautiful lace top so so pretty so I will often will get lace um, outfits and I got so much stuff in in outfits I really was amazing oh see it goes a bit fuzzy look look huh? Huh? <laughs> be really annoying um, gorgeous absolutely stunning so and then in the same lot of stuff I got this as well I thought that was really pretty um, really nice for lining lining books um because i'm doing my three-day retreat i need to get my supply of lace and everything up isn't that pretty you can almost i reckon i could almost fit that one so there you go i think that's really pretty that would look nice underneath a um my, here we go here's my t-shirt if you put a color underneath it how pretty is that so that was my Salvation Army haul. So I was pretty stoked with that. It's good when you can get some bargains. And here is my my one book I got from um, the Vinnies. Um, 16 Magical Christmas Tales. Because in September I usually start making, I want to make a start on some of the Christmas stuff. I don't mind... See, that's very so nice, but I was really taken by the first story. Oh, that's nice too. This one, adorable. So, um, yeah, look at the little woodland creatures. So cute. So, um, yeah, I'll probably be turning that into a, a journal, that's for sure, because it's just beautiful mr squirrel's christmas oh wendy would love that or pam <laughs> so um yeah i had to get that one 50 cents too so um vinnies are usually a lot cheaper and i saw this i've been looking at um i was at a little bit shabby chic and they have a lot of and also um maggie white they have they have these um butterflies and i'm like oh where do they get these butterflies such a score like it was a dress i don't know if you can see it and it's got a stack of butterflies i mean if i had to, had to buy them individually i mean yes i've got to cut them out um it would cost a fair bit <laughs> so to get them like that and so you know i'll be I'm, i've got my work cut out for me i've got quite a few dresses and stuff which i need to cut up and i've got a whole heap of motifs but um, when I have my retreat, retreat next year, I need to get my supplies up so that that's part of the cost. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and $2 for all of these. How good is that? Look, that's awesome. So, yeah, can't go past that. I thought that was pretty good. And then found another dress um look at the lace on that stunning and there's a heck of a lot of it um this type of lace is actually quite expensive so i think what did i pay five dollars um it would have yeah six dollars there you go but still completely worth it because you get so much lace in there so that would make a good um, border but then you've got all these motifs that you can cut out so um, beautiful oh, it just flickers on white it's terrible I don't know why it does it but look at that oh what's on then I think this was 50 cents it was one of those looks like scone doily holders but I really love these I think they've sewn it so I might unpick them and I think they would make nice pockets or something like that on my journals so probably pass that up and then this, um, I think these are a bit more finer. So that was, I thought it was really strange. I had to pay $4 for these, but yet $2 for the other ones, which are so much bigger and there's more of them. 
but it was still worth it they're a dollar each but it's it's probably a bit more finer lace and then this one looks too good to pass up to so pretty might put it down so it doesn't get all glary pretty pretty and then i've been thinking i would really love one day to get a wedding dress like because the laces in the wedding dresses are quite expensive and um but i thought no there's no way because i just you know they're so expensive well i think this is like maybe might have been an 80s deb dress it was very dirty ten dollars size 10 it wouldn't fit that in a pink fit but the amount of lace that is in this you can tell might have been 80s real puffy sleeve you know but the amount of lace and everything in this dress is beautiful oh, i'll have to so i've got that top half and then it keeps going there we go oh the, it is not liking it i can tell you but i'll show you if i can get it underneath look how many of these so beautiful i mean it's filthy look at it needs a wash but i've got a good washing machine and gorgeous that is stunning that would how would that look just so nice on the cover of a journal oh beautiful so i really did hit the jackpot with that one i mean i've got enough there to uh last me quite a bit because it's on the bottom and then in the middle and then i've even got some more lace around here and all that kind of stuff so I do have my work cut out for me <laughs> um and i think it might have been a dead dress more than a a bridal but i don't know i don't know for the there so so there you go guys that's my haul for the day better put something back so you've got something to look at and um yeah so i'm pretty happy with that <laughs> and um i'm just busy still sorting through all my um nearly finished i'm sorting through all my laces just winding them all on um little cards and like this sort of stuff winding them all on there and make getting a place ready for them and um most of the stuff is off the floor which is fantastic so um what's today's thursday um tomorrow is going to be my birthday and then on saturday i'll put another video up um, probably continue on with the gnome journal and then I will I've got I'm on holidays on Monday Tuesday Wednesday of next week I may do a video from my holiday like um I might do that um but if not I will probably the next one I'll do would be next Thursday so yeah so Saturday maybe one from my holiday and then Thursday so if you, you're not getting any extra videos is because I'm away <laughs> that was part of my birthday present and we just really need a holiday <laughs> going to Hall's Gap so okay I'll catch you um, soon and hopefully I'll be able to be working a little bit more on my gnome journals on Saturday which would be really good oh by the way speaking of Christmas I've gone on to eBay and I found a gnome journal. It's Gnome's Christmas by the same author as the gnome pictures that I've um, recently working on. Um, and so I'm going to uh, make a couple of gnome Christmas journals. So because I've had such um, a popular response with the journal that I'm making, um, which, you know, someone's already asked for it. So um, I'm... I'll be making a Christmas, a couple of Christmas. I'm hoping to see how many I can get. I'm hoping maybe two to three Christmas journals with the gnomes in it. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later.